In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to improve your animation simply easing in or out your keyframes. So once again I just create a simple composition and a white background so I can see what is going on. Then I'm going to create a simple shape, center it on the level press key to see the position property and create a simple animation with a shape moving. As of now I have a linear animation It moves in a linear way and I'm going to make it shorter so I can see it better. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D, U to see the keyframes, then I'm positioning myself over the keyframe and moving it up. So now these two are moving at the same time and if I change one of the two we can see the difference. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the second keyframe and press F9. The keyframe changes and so does the animation. This is the easiest way to have an is in is out animation. If I press this button here on the timeline, the graph editor, I will see that the animation is different. You have a graph. If I select the first graph, I can see that it's different, the position, from the other one. Here the position moves in a linear way. Here it has a curve. This works basically like any other curve that you might draw with a pen. So if I click on the first point, I can click and drag around and change the shape of the curve. And you can see the animation also here on the screen, because if you look at these dots here, you will see that they are close by at the very beginning, then they get farther away, and that again close by at the end. Uh, meaning that it starts slowly, then moves at the center and gets faster, as the velocity increases and then slows down again. If I move the point up, I can see that the velocity, 500 pixels per second, starts very high and then slowly slow down. This is very important when you're trying to create an animation in After Effects. If you do something linear, it might work well for very limited cases. It does work well for some cases, don't get me wrong. But in most cases, you want to ease in and out. And even more than that, you want to customize the curve of your animation. Maybe you want to start with some velocity, increase it a little bit and then slow down and maybe you want it to slow down with a different kind of curve so moves very fast and then slows down if you add to this kind of animation this effect too and you activate you will see the blur the movement blur that makes all the animation much better this usually represents the velocity graph, but you might also have some other different property here. To change and to check what property you have on the graph, you just click on this button here and you see what is selected between these options. 